Hey guys, welcome to Castle's Corner. I'm Coach Castle, and today we're going to talk about the five functional fascia based movements that I like the most and that I use the most in my training and with my clients. Now, you might know some of these from animal flow or calisthenic movements, but they're all pretty basic movements. They just have you basically moving in more of a horizontal plane than a vertical plane like you're used to. So, one is the bear crawl or the bear plank, the crab walk or the crab plank, burpees a spinal twist, and finally what's called the Superman. I think most of you have seen that one. But anyways, let me get into them, what they are, what they work, etc. The first one is going to be the bare plank, and then the bare walk. You want to do these both vertically, or moving in this plane of motion, and also horizontally. So you want to always kind of cover all your bases. So for the actual bare plank itself, you just hop down, make sure that your upper leg is parallel with your upper arm. Everything is nice and straight and pretty. You can practice just by plank holding, but then what you want to do is you want to get used to moving forward, backwards, and of course all directions while maintaining this plank. The muscle groups you'll be training directly through isometric contractions are of course your abs, your transverse abdominis, your quads, your pectorals, as well as your serratus anterior. On the back side, your pelvic floor muscles are also responsible. In the front, your deltoid is responsible, of course, for the flexion of the arm, making it move. And your legs, it's the psoas and quads. Once again, your serratus anterior is stabilizing and tricep is stabilizing as well. Your abs should be braced throughout. The next one we're going to talk about is the crab plank or crab walk. Same thing. You should get very comfortable. Going in all directions. When doing the crab pose, it's primarily your glutes, middle and lower trapezius, and erector spinile, as well as your quads and your hamstrings, which are responsible for the movement. Your pecs will be getting a really good stretch, as will your front deltoid. And of course, your tricep brachii will be stabilizing again. The next one we're going to go over is just the basic burpee. Very simple. Start from standing. Crouch down, jump the feet back, push up position, do a push up, jump the feet forward, standing up. Burpee. When performing the burpee, the primary muscle groups you'll be training are your pectorals or your chest, your serratus anterior, your abdominal muscles, and your front deltoid. The legs will work in the secondary half, your quads, hamstrings, and adductor, as well as your glutes. And of course, the movement itself should be performed in a controlled manner, doing your very best, focusing on quality over quantity. Make sure you're flexing, extending, straightening, jumping, everything to the best of your abilities. Next one we're going to talk about is the twist. So for this one, hop on down, hands on the ground. Your objective is going to be to take your left or your right arm through the gap created here. So it's going to look like this. Of course, make sure you're breathing very deeply, nasally, into your belly, using your diaphragm. Now this twisting movement in itself is specifically going to be training a few of your fascial spiral trains but we're going to be focusing on opening up the rib cage via rotating the spine. This is going to be accomplished by you breathing very deeply through your diaphragm as well as expanding your chest as you twist. It's going to feel very uncomfortable the first time you're doing it, but you'll get used to it. The primary muscle groups that you'll be stretching or training are your erector spinal. You'll be opening up your scapula and your shoulder joint via opening the middle traps and lower traps, as well as the rhomboids. Furthermore, as you're stretching it, you'll be stretching the rear deltoid as well as unlocking your hip joint, which means you'll be working on your adductors and glutes as well. And the final one is the Superman, which is aptly named as it looks like your Superman. Hop on down, straight body, lift your palms, elbows, shoulders, scapula, then feet knees, and finally pelvis, and hold it, and down. Here you can see the muscle groups working, your glutes, your rector spina, your rear deltoid, as well as your middle and lower trapezius and rhomboids. 
and your legs, it's going to be your hamstrings and the solaris primarily. So those are five excellent fascia-based movements. Try to do sets, maybe three sets of ten if you're a beginner. I hope that you liked that video. I just wanted to remind you all, if you're able to and you support my work, please make sure that you like the video. You subscribe if you haven't already. You click the notification bell and you share this video or leave a comment to help the algorithm. Every little bit helps and I'm trying to get this information to as many people as is possible. And of course, if I can help you with any of your coaching needs, you need a running plan, you need a workout plan, you want to build mass, you want to lose weight, you want to do things correctly, you want a full education about your diet, your exercise, your respiratory health, supplements, and everything else, just contact me at castlinprogress.com or via my email, castlinprogress at gmail.com. If you don't want coaching directly, just check out my Etsy store. It's linked in the description of all of my videos. I have all of my many books, tools, and everything else there. Or finally, check out my Substack. It's linked in a lot of the videos as well. And it's free, a free newsletter where I share the latest science, advice, exercises, and everything else for free. So thank you as always for your support, everyone.